Greetings to my 1050 subscribers and of course you my future subscriber. Tonight we are looking at the Glen Fiddich Fire and Cane and um, of course part of the experimental series bottled at 43% ABV. It is a single malt. Of course it is from the Glen Fiddich distillery. This is from the experimental series number four. And I must say I'm quite looking forward to giving this a nose and a taste. It is a little bit of a smoky one, a little bit of a sweet one. So I do like a little bit of a combination between the sweetness and sometimes a hint of a smoke. I also did a little bit of digging on this one just to be sure that I get all the information correctly. Um, and I was quite impressed that we also have some information with regards to the distillery and of course this special bottling and I do like the little fiddle that they like to play with regards to what the whiskey is about and this one they do say Glen Fiddich and I've got it here on my smashed iPad uh, if you want to see what the iPad looks like when you step on it this is what it looks like so mine had a terrible accident of the aircraft, completely destroyed the iPad. At least I can still switch it on. So they do say the Clan Fiddich Fire and Cane is a bold fusion of smoke and sweet note. Things that I like to hear. Married with peated whiskey and malt matured in bourbon barrels and finished in a Latin rum cask. We created an exquisite whiskey with campfire smokiness and toffee sweetness. Hmm, that sounds like the thing that anybody would enjoy. But of course, it's up to us to we like it or not. So, of course, I am at the hotel. Not always easy to find glasses. I do have a little glass here. Not really the perfect glass. I'm still waiting for that perfect clean Cairn glass that I can use for traveling. It's not going to break in the suitcase like my iPad didn't survive this last flight. Nice sample, of course, from my online store in Belgium. I think I paid about €4.50 for this one. I'm not so sure about the price for a full bottle. I will just um, do some Googling before I do my editing and I will add the price that I pay for it in Europe. So I'm not going to put in a lot in my glass. Color wise, um, not sure about the color. It is a nice light yellow color, maybe a little bit of a gold color. Mm, I already get a little bit of a smokiness on it. So on the nose, on the Glen Fiddich, favorite distillery, or one of my favorite distilleries, um, easy drinking whiskey normally. On the nose, cheers. Mm, that's kind of nice. 43% ABV. There is a little bit of a punchiness of the alcohol. Didn't expect that. The, um, even in this white rim glass, it's a little bit way stronger on the nose than I expected. There's a little bit of a youthfulness in it. I get a little bit of a smokiness but not much. So if this amount of peat smoke that you in it, you really have to go look for it. But it's definitely there. A little bit of a perfumey note, but definitely that toffee that we were talk, talking about, that lovely toffee sweetness, I do get that. It's soft, a hint of an ethanol, Definitely a little bit of a butterscotchy note coming up. But it is really strong. Even take my little bit, take my breath away. But other than that, I don't get a lot of aromas. There's a little bit of a furniture polish. A little bit oak sweet furniture polish. So it's quite nice on the nose. 
I do like that. On the taste, but you have to drink it as well. So cheers. Mm. Definitely drink 43%. Doesn't feel like 43%. In fact, maybe tastes like 40% for me. It's a lovely sweetness to it. There's no bitter oak in it. I enjoy it. Definitely a little bit of that toffee note. More on the smoke. On the taste than actually on the nose. Let me just give it another try. Mm. Nothing special. More on the second sip, I get a little bit more of that smoke. A little bit of a campfire smoke. Maybe a campfire in the distance. You know, every now, now and again you get a little wind blowing across the campfire in your direction. Um, and when you just get that little whiff of the smell, hmm, kind of nice. Let me just give it one more try. Hmm, definitely easy sipping, nothing special. Open up, drink it, enjoy it, forget about it. And of course, the next day you try again. So definitely something that I would recommend as a starter whiskey. Something that... I don't think it's going to be fantastic for people that has been doing whiskey for many years down the whiskey journey. Um, but yeah, it is quite cheap. Well, the sample was quite cheap and I'm quite happy with it. Will I buy a full bottle? I'm not 100% sure. I will look at the price for the full bottle, make my determination there. But I doubt it um, if I will spend a lot of money on this whiskey. Easy drinking, but of course, um, once you go down the rabbit hole with all the uh, different whiskies around, I don't think this is special enough for me. I don't think it's something that I will pay much attention to in the future. But if you're just starting off and you're looking for a light whiskey, something that just to pour and enjoy, Hmm. This is definitely one for you. Also, maybe give you a little bit of a start in the peated whiskey world. A bit now for me, I almost get nothing. There's more sweetness on, on the nose for me. That toffee sweetness. Let me just give it one more try, just to make sure. Hmm. Even on a big sip, um, not much action going on. Almost nothing on the alcohol. Um, now a little bit more on the smoke coming through. So that's me on the Glen Fiddich Fire and Cane. Nice short video. It's going to go outside to the swimming pool. Have a little bit of fun. So today it was raining. Uh, but still 29 degrees. So I cannot complain. Brussels minus 2. So fantastic to be in nice hot weather. So thank you very much for watching and remember to like and subscribe and I see you next time. Cheers!